Have you ever wondered what causes the shaking or stiffness in Parkinson's disease? In this video, we'll explore the causes and effects of Parkinson's disease and the latest treatment options available. Let's get started. Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurological condition that affects movement. It's characterized by tremors, stiffness, and an unsteady gait. But did you know that these symptoms are just the tip of the iceberg? There's a lot more going on in the brain than meets the eye. Imagine your brain is like a vast network of roads and highways. The neurons are the cars that travel along these roads, delivering messages to other neurons. They do this by releasing chemicals called neurotransmitters which act like traffic signals. When one part of the brain, the substantia nigra, stops making enough of a neurotransmitter called dopamine, it's like a traffic jam. The roads are still there, but the traffic signals aren't working properly. This can make it difficult for the cars or neurons to get where they need to go, leading to the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Now let's talk about the cause of this traffic jam. It all starts with a little part of the brain called the substantia nigra. This area is responsible for producing dopamine, a neurotransmitter that helps control movement. But in Parkinson's disease, something goes wrong, and the substantia nigra starts to break down. As it breaks down, it produces less dopamine which causes the traffic jam we talked about earlier. But why does this happen? Well, that's what scientists are still trying to figure out, but they have a few theories. One theory is that genetics play a role in the development of Parkinson's disease. Studies have shown that certain genes can make people more susceptible to developing the disease. However, having these genes doesn't mean that you will definitely develop Parkinson's disease. It's just a risk factor. Another theory is that environmental factors may also play a role. Exposure to toxins and pesticides has been linked to an increased risk of developing Parkinson's disease. However, more research is needed to confirm this. So what can be done about this? There is currently no cure for Parkinson's disease but there are treatments available to help manage the symptoms. One of the latest and most effective treatments is deep brain stimulation. This is a surgical procedure in which electrodes are implanted in the brain and then connected to a device that sends electrical impulses to the brain. This can help to improve the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Another treatment option is the use of medications such as levodopa, which can help to increase the levels of dopamine in the brain. Parkinson's disease is a complex and challenging condition, but with the right support and treatment, people with Parkinson's disease can live full and active lives. So the next time you see someone with Parkinson's disease, remember that they're more than their tremors and stiffness. They're individuals with a lot to offer the world. Thanks for watching.